Ladies and gents, uh, here we are again at the old covert spot. Uh, managed to get out. Uh, David's here. Um, Mike's uh, on point for, for turning up and that as well. Mr. Baldrick, I got told that you can go, but you've got to take Mr. Baldrick, uh, which actually is a problem as it goes. He loves it. Um, but yeah, today going to get this uh, sort of table of working surfaces uh, finished off. And as you'll see, I brought some wood into the forest. Uh, but I'll give David, it's, got to, it's, a, it's a lot of wood and I've, I've packed it all the way in here um, and it's just a l little bit of kit there I'll just mention again because it's the easiest thing to do and it just makes carrying anything awkward or heavy really easy to do yeah, I'll just, yeah. Um, obviously these are, you'll see what these are later on uh, it's not, not a lot of waste wood in here, I'm not cutting down anything that doesn't need cutting down um, Sorting out my me, uh, me shed and that, plan. this is about five years old for me thing, and it's not kind of treated in any way, but it was, th the problem logistics of getting it from A to B, obviously it's a lot of slain, and you know, that's a fair weight, but again, ladies and gents, that simple little tool, underneath, put that through, okay, obviously centre it so it's not either way, and then, obviously, as I found out there, I just rolled it down to there, held that, How's that? How simple is that? How easy is that to do? Making a difficult task. You know, Every, yeah. yeah, the easiest point of easiest, you know, route there, mate. Yeah. So, you know, uh, and that is the last one. You know, sort of kept it. You can make it up when you're there as yeah, well, mate. It. You know, little slip so it don't slip. Or you need a bit, of, a bit of power cord. Power what cord. Not? Goes round, pulls round again. Because that's what I used to bring a load of firewood back that time, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, easy enough to do. This one's a lot longer, so it has to be sort of in the centre. Just roll it round. And I found I just grabbing that was made that spot on. Yeah. Easy to do. So that's the old. Uh, got a name for it, mate. Not not no, not 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 an original Mac type wood design, but uh, so it works and it's simple. Just keep it simple, keep it stupid, and it works. And yeah, um, I'll explain why later on. I bought some wood in, but uh, that's once I've done my coffee and chocolate biscuits. I'm starving. Uh, we're going to have a little think about this, yeah. how we're going to do it mate, either the slats going long ways or you know across and that, and uh, we're going to get going on that, that's, that's, that's the day's point, and to chill, and to say, monkey dog, monkey dog, look at him little monkey, come here, yeah, um, ladies and gents, yeah, um, just playing back with this bit of uh, wood I got, um, and it is, as you can see, just normal wood, not treated in any way, um, and it's upcycling. Is that what they call it now? Yeah, upcycling. Yeah, that that's a new word. Yeah, I like the new words there. <laughs> upcycling it. Uh, but uh, you know, are we going to go along? Because once we work out, once you get another one of these, which we're going to cut that down underneath there in the same manner as that, that's quite solid, mate. And we're thinking yeah. about how would we fix it. But the thing is. Um, Every time we go and leave, it would take seconds to set it up again, mate. Yeah, yeah? yeah. And these, all these slats could just be piled up there, you know, to about there, mate. You know, um, I don't think it's going to do anything. There's a slight... They're not going to be hanging over, ladies and gents. Obviously, we've not done any cutting. But, you know, if there's weight press there, obviously, it's going to flick up. But um, I, I would like to be able to do that. Uh, and again, um, have a little trick about with things. So, there's no fixing. So, it's you know, easily put upable, easily collapsible, very low impact. Because other than that, as we said there, we're going to drill like two holes there, two holes there, and just, you know, lash it to this bar with paracord all the way down, but then it's kind of permanent, mate. Yeah. And does it need to be? Because we're just having a... Um, David's doing some bushcrafty things. I don't know what I'm doing, you know, I'm just trying to make... No, 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 you're just... You're whittling, sir, you're whittling. Yeah. You're whittling. It's okay, sir, it's wh whittling's fine. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, you, your brain goes when you whittle, doesn't it? <laughs> no, and, uh, yeah, so we're just having a little bit of a sort out as uh, how to actually, yeah. actually do it. Yeah, because there might be a little bit of left off, because these, the long ones need cutting down, obviously. Um, even to make a little table just for your, suit your chair. Because yeah. uh, Ray Mears, 
contacted me and said, Ed, can you, can, can you make them for my site? You know what I mean? I want one personal. <laughs> and I said, D I said, Ray, no, no. You need to talk to Oscar, make your own. <laughs> but he wanted it like a flat pack to sell on his site. I said, I said, no, no, no. You, you get out you there. Straight, you did, yeah. I did, yeah. I said, Ray, no. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're just uh, scratching, muselin, uh, as to how this is eventually yeah, going to do. Don't rush into these sorts. No, things. no, we know you can have a little. No, you got to think um, about it. Yeah, think about it, mate. Because uh, once you cut the wood, that's your, that's your lot there, really. Oh, and at this point, I'm quite liking long ones. That one supported underneath, and we can just pack it down every time, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as simple as it needs to be. Uh, yeah. So anyway, ladies and gents, when I've actually done something of interest, I'll, I'll bring you back. <laughs> but it's a lovely day here, mate, isn't it? It is a lovely day. Because, you know, when you, you see the news and that, apparently we're going to get hit by the arse end of some um, hurricane or whatever. Yeah, so it's good to make yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I do, I do like autumn, mate, yeah. It's not too hot, like. Because when you're fat like me, you sweat a lot, don't you? I'm wrong, enough. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, no, that chair's proper on one there, mate. Very nice. I'll see how I making another one of them. We'll try and... Uh, make a little, you know, like a little thing there just to put your gear on, mate. Yeah. Just because just we can. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be sitting around drinking tea and biscuits all day long. What? It's, it's normal, normal. Uh, no talking, drinking tea, and eating biscuits. Yeah. Normal, standard operational yeah. procedure. Because yeah. when you say socks, people don't know what you mean. <laughs> standard operational procedure. <laughs> yeah, and uh, obviously. I bought the, uh, uh, well you'll see it later on, the thing you lay on there, you slip the pole through um, to make that a stretcher bed, just, you know, get get all the dimensions right. What you got Mr Baldwin? What's that Mr Baldwin? What's that? Go get it! He absolutely loves it. He was sat on me Bergen, you know, like that, I, I'm putting stuff in it, and he sat on it, and I go, Baldwin, move, 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 Baldwin, move, and he went, no, you'll, you'll forget me, you, because he calls me fat bloke. <laughs> But look at him, look at him. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Hello Mike, very nice, all right. I'm, actually, I think filming the bloke while he's filming is kinky, so I'll, I'll crack this on. But good to see you, Mike. Good to see you, mate. I'll turn mine off as well. No, nah, yeah, it's uh, quite nice, ladies and gents. As uh, Mark Smith has uh, turned up, mate. Really good to see you again, mate. It's like coming to a home from home, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I was just saying, I should have been here for bloody long. No, and uh, obviously got the uh, Rain Mears Bergen. Very, very nice. And uh, it's got the, the Condor hatchet, which is actually quite nice to be honest. Uh, it's got a nice um, sheaf on it. Uh, I think it's better better quality sheaf than the Grant's Furs Brookline. David says the same, but he's uh, done some nice paracord rocking in there. Apparently, these are called Turkish heads, and I've said, like, uh, careful with the old Turkish lads. <laughs> I've seen that film, that prison film. No, but that's a nice, nice bit of work, though, isn't it? Really. We'll give you a good grip, right? Like. I'm saying there's a couple of bits uh, his brew kit, and uh, as always, you always bring a bit of kit over, you know, if you've not tried it out. But as I said, that is my Man Points Bergen. It's probably got, um, still got dust on it from some godforsaken place in the world carried by a British soldier. What's got a hammock? He's gonna. You know, play with back with your hammock, are you, mate? Yeah, just a, a, a different part of the suspension system. Just, um, yeah. No, as I was just saying, this uh, so what the days are about, mate. You know, bringing out some stuff and oh, yeah. Yeah, giving it a little try, give it My a little. She said to me, sort of, when I packed everything in, she said, Are you only going for out for a day, for a few hours? I said, Well, yeah, but you've got to, uh, you know, you've got to bring this stuff with you. Because when Rosina says that to me, and I say, And your point is. <laughs> you to, uh, and step back. <laughs> you can't get the chance to play with things. No. I mean, like, you don't know if it works or not. You know, when you go camping or, or you know, doing proper, the proper stuff, yeah. if you haven't tried using the gear yeah. you know, and playing with it and making sure it's, it's works, you know, you don't know. So days like this are great. You yeah. can come out and, and try out stuff, and if it don't work, then you, you're not stuck. No. You know? Nice little catch-up. Can I just come in and admire the... Admire, yeah. Uh, yes. The new one, mate. Beautiful scales on that, isn't it? Can we have a little look at that, mate? Beautiful scale. Yeah, with the Jack Law logo. 
and the, the wood is iron wood, did we say? I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> and again, mate, I'm exactly the same. You put a really, really bright land yard bright on. Bright land yard on because if I, I mean, like, if you, if I put, you fall that on the floor, yeah. right, and then throw a few, yeah. you know, you can, you won't see the knife, but you will see the yellow and, and yeah. like the bright colours of the land yard. And as we said, that kind of extends the handle a little bit as well when you've got a grip on it as well, mate, doesn't well, it? Well, it does because, I yeah. mean, you actually, you, you can put, you wrap your little finger around there and yeah. that, you know, it does give you a, a, yeah. a nice purchase. Because I think, mate, and I'm exactly the same as well, if I needed lost that, you'd cry. Oh, of course you would. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's Definitely. just, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's very, very nice. So I think Sandy's got a little way where he's got a little thing where it kind of clips in. And uh, I mean, that's not that shouldn't fall out. Oh, well, no, no, no. But again, that's the last thing you want to lose, though, mate, because no, it will be okay. what's that film they call it? Crying game. <laughs> yeah, if you lose like a jack law or something, crying in public is authorised and it's not in any way sissy or gay law, like. But no, but that's just well, sense and sensibility, mate, is you, yeah. if that's the only knife you got and you lose it, you're up. That street yep. without a paddle, mate. Yep. No, nope. no, sir. Yep. That's right. Bright and cheery, bright and cheery. And that's a nice little job because you did that yourself. So I'm just going to fondle you. <laughs> check I'm gonna fondle the check. I'll be sniffing it in it later on, mate. And but of not, course, not sort of like, you know, I've copied the yellow stitching with yeah. the, uh, the yellow of the. Yeah. Uh, that's nice, mate. Yeah. That's a nice job you've done on there, isn't it, as well? Because you did that yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, nice one, mate. I just obviously um, had a little look at your, your condor there, mate, with your Turk's head, are they? The Turks said each end, yeah. right, and then all these are, are just half hitches, yeah. and the, the very nature of the half hitch is that it then spirals around right. the uh, yes, handle. That's nice, mate. And uh, I mean, I, I, it was a play really. I just wanted to try it out, yeah. right? And uh, but it does, it does, you know, give a good, good grip. I mean, yeah. there's no way you're gonna slip down on slip that, down mate. on no. that, and right. it, it's comfortable to, when you choke down, yeah. right? And I mean, because this, it's, the Condor Axe is not a a felling axe or anything like that, no. is it? You know, no. it's a, it, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a camp axe, yeah. and, it's a, and it plus also, I mean, there's about what, uh, about thirty foot of pack power cord Packled on there, which is always good news, there, mate. Yeah. yeah. So if you're short of something, you've always got something yeah. to fall back on. So just because it is a good sheath, mate, isn't it? That's better than as you know the ground fours, as we say, because it's the first time I've seen one of these up close, mate. And that's a nice little, small little hatchet and that as well, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. say that's quite nice, you know, it's pucker, isn't it? Yeah. It's solid, you know? Yeah, it does hold a good edge. edge. Yeah. And as, as we said, like, if it's small and light, you've always got to have it with you, mate, exactly, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this will fit in your bag, no problem. Yeah. Uh, and it's not, um, I mean, I, yeah, one thing I need do need to get for it is a um, like belt. belt loop. But again, uh, Dave. Because, because like, it's something you can wear on your on your belt and it's not, it's, it's only really the same sort of weight as a decent sheep knife. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So that and a knife. Yeah, and, and you're sorted, mate. Yeah. Sorted. Yeah. 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 We've got the Ray Mearsburg on there, mate. No, but I'll tell you what, no, I, I joke and sometimes I bulk at the price, but that's a very nice pack, mate. Mm. Yeah. No, I'd find I'd find I mean, it. it's almost the same as mine, but mine's got like, as we talked, man points. <laughs> <laughs> Still probably got Afghan dust on it or something, yeah, right? No, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, for 30 quid, mate, you can't chuckle, because I'm going to no. do a few mods on that, if that yeah, makes sense. That's right. And for that price, you know what I mean? You don't mind. Yeah. But yeah, so I think um, we'll have a little play about with this and uh, get something sorted with it. And I'm I'm very much going with the idea that it's it's all packed up in one thing when we go, mate. You know, yeah. yeah. Rather than secured down the left there, but it's all looking a bit woody at the moment. But you know, the weather will get to it and season it will darken it. I, I, I would prefer personally, might as I said, my preference would be for uh, something that more natural. Yeah, you know, like that, mate. You know, and I, and yeah. I agree with you, but, mate. But you know what this place is like, mate. There's not a lot of deadfall, um, and. I know you're the same as me, mate, and everybody else. Um, I'm not cutting summit down. No, uh, no just uh, no, right. no. So that will do until we summit, you know, different comes along, mate. Yeah. No, I certainly wouldn't advocate cutting anything down. No, no. Uh, I mean, for some of the bars, there is one out there that come down in the wind. So when I had a mooch about last time, mate, yeah. uh, that's where these two bars come from. And uh, so, you know, I'll harvest stuff that's down, but how old rules? All right, there, Mr. Baldwin. You? More did. <laughs> Where's more Scooby snacks? <laughs> more Scooby scat snacks. He loves, he loves his little. When he put this on, he gets really excited. He knows he's coming to the woods. Thought I'd be an army dog, Dad. I want to be an army dog. 
Well, anyway, ladies and gents, I'll shut up and we'll uh, we'll, we'll get some get some done. All right, ladies and gents. Um, obviously, we decided the long ones that go across we're going to cut straight in half. Um, so, how do you cut a piece of wood in half when you don't know how long it is? And again, I could have bought out a tape measure, but let's so you know, not. So, as you'll see here, old uh, assault pioneer army trick. Exactly as long, long as a wood. You then take your piece of string, ever so simple. Put that there. <laughs> See how simple it is. Mark that, cut that, that's exactly in half. See how simple that was? <laughs> um, and obviously this one will be a, a marker for all the rest. So that's how, uh, obviously if you wanted to cut in four, four equal pieces. That would be your cut line, and then you'd use that one to do all the rest of them. So it's just an easy way, um, expedient way of um, measuring something and getting it in a half or quarters or whatever. And uh, again, just a little point to note, right, really. Um, but, but some people might think, actually, that's so simple, uh, I wouldn't have thought of that. But if you want something in half or whatever, um, or in quarters, as you see. Uh, and I'll shut up now and get on with that. All I'm going to do is uh, mark that there with a knife, because I'm bringing that sharpies on, I think. Gives that a cut, and then. Uh, Run point for the rest of them, ladies and gents. And uh, obviously, you know, like a level in the woods, you can do it by eye, which is probably fair enough. But when you're building steps or something, so you know, like a, a clear water ball, like an Nalgene type water ball, water, water is always um, will find its own level in any situation, and that can give you an indication if something's level or not. It's uh, not going to be applicable on this because we're just doing it by the old uh, Mark One eyeball. Job done. Right, ladies and gents, it didn't take too long because I just cut a few pieces in half, as you see here, coming across here. Uh, some supports underneath there, which, you know, there's another one there, and another one there. And uh, kind of on that, it was very simple and easy to make, mate, wasn't it? You know, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of flat. Um, the wood will soon colour in, I suppose. Uh, and we're just kind of moving over, Dave, whether we're going to tie it down or just disassemble it and stick it at the side or whatever mate you know which won't take long to do you can't well if, if you leave it up as you say like the window will get to it and that but again um, you know, it is kind of what it is so we can improve the actual put a bar under there because that one's not actually touching until it gets some pressure but you know it's, we're just moving about with it but I think for cutting like uh, four bits of wood in half um, it's like done there mate isn't it like you know Again, it won't take too long, and it's been rained on a few times just to, you know, weather it in. Yeah, it'll go dark. Yeah. 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 I think, well, obviously, just this time, mate, I'm just going to take it down. And if, well, everything's, you know, you've got to come out and have a little play, have a little, you know, yeah. trick about and things to see what's what. Um, Probably next job is actually get your brew kit on here and then give it a blast. Oh yeah, oh, it's gonna, you know, there's nothing to, a uh, little bit of movement. So I think a bow under there. But initially, what my thing was, obviously the slats just going all the way across, two holes and just kind of windlass them, you know, to that bar, you know, the yeah, two yeah. holes and come across like that. And again, it's all up for um, discussion and just find out what's best. Because I reckon if we're going to leave it up, that would be the best route to go. Just have the short ones, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Either way, so whatever you, you know, well, yeah. give it a test. Yeah, yeah. Leave it as it is. Nothing wrong with that, yeah. Take it down. Next time you come here, yeah. put it up, you see what, what. Yeah, because if we're going to lash it down, I just think um, the short Cross ones, on. you know, like yeah. top and tail them as you come down, and that'd be it, mate. But yeah, that was, that was a, how long did it take me? Two, well, as long as it, got, yeah. Yeah, four minutes, and we got a nice, got, we've got a usable table that will weather in. Uh, and I tell you what, and I keep saying this, and it is pucker, I'm not cutting anything down just to make a, you know. Hmm. We've got uh, Mike over there testing a little bit of kit, mate. And this is uh, a new, ac new acquisition, is it, mate? Well, it's the, the Hennessy hammock that I bought at the uh, Wilderness Gathering. Uh. It's just a, you know, I've always, always fancied giving one a go. Yeah. And my mum was there at a, a good price. Yeah. It, so, it, uh, yeah, I remember it was a good little dibble in the end there, mate. Yeah. yeah. Um, is this the one where you get in from underneath? From underneath yeah. yeah, I'll just, I don't know, mate. Just, yeah. I don't think me and that would get on, mate. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I, 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 
I mean, uh, all you need, all you do, yeah. right, is that you just get Baldrick, he loves hammocks. Baldrick, come here, come here, Baldrick. Come on, you little monkey dog. <laughs> when I get an hammock, he just dives in. He loves it. Sit yourself down and then bring your legs up. Yeah. Right, and then immediately... He closes in. That closes. Yeah. Mate, I, I, I just don't see me and that system getting on. You know what I mean? Baldrick, Baldrick, don't you dare jump in there. You ought to get in now. No, well, I'll tell you what, hey, he'll find a way. <laughs> you little monkey dog, aren't you? No, um... But I always wondered what that was about, because some, some come with Velcro, mate, and some come with a zip, didn't they? Yeah. But as I was saying to Dave, I mean, one of the things I must admit I like in my hammock, I mean, when I was in my hammock at the weekend, right, I, um, I set it up this low down, right, and I, I just had, I had my stove just outside the hammock. Yeah. I unzipped this bit, yeah. right, I just reached out in the morning, and made myself a cup of tea in bed. It's ever so posh that is, mate. Yeah. Next you'll be bringing out a tea's made, mate. We're, we're old enough to remember what a tea's made is, but don't we, mate? Yeah, Baldrick. You, Baldrick. You would have come out with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I when Baldrick sees a hammock... didn't want to come with me this weekend. No, no. But, uh, yeah. But, I mean, like, to be honest with you, right now, this, right, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm actually laying on my side. Yeah. Quite comfortable. Because it is a diagonal one, you know what I call oh, a diagonal. Yeah. yeah. You can't lay in it. Well, you can lay flat. Yeah. You can lay straight. Right, but I mean. Because what you're in there is my normal sleeping position. Yeah. Uh, or I sometimes um, sleep in what is called a fetal position, where your legs tucked up and that. Well, you can. Yeah, no, fair enough, mate. No problem. Yeah. And there's no, again, like, you know, that's the split. Yeah. Right? So there's absolutely no danger of me jump, get falling out of that. Do that again, mate. Oh, sorry, dog. Go on, go on, do it again, do it again. No, I'm, I'm kicking your dog. I no, 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 it's that. not a problem. I want him to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Bull dick, uh, <laughs> you little monkey dog. No, he's all right. Get down, you little monkey. <laughs> no, he was like proper on one there, mate. I don't know if you saw it. Like, but as I say, you are definitely enclosed, though. Yeah. Because if you wasn't enclosed, mate, you would have a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 he's, he's winding that little slit. He said, I oh, saw that then. <laughs> no, but nice, mate. Uh, how much did you pay for this all again, mate? £80. £80. Not bad, mate. I think, I mean, like, to be honest with you, I think brand new, yeah, yeah, you, you'll, you'll be paying 160 Because there's no such thing in my book as second hand. It's called field tested. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And we like a little bit of a, little bit of a discount, don't we? And as you know now, I've got a couple of different hammocks. <laughs> you've got a few, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. you got, yeah, well, no. I was going to say, you've got as many hammocks as Eddie's got tents, but no, that's, that's not true, is it? You've got more tents than that. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Got... Pot calling the kettle black, mate. Is that, is that applicable? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm just intrigued to what you do, mate. But what I like to do is, like, you, 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 you're doing something, yeah, and I'll come back, and then I'm sure I'm going to be suitably impressed later on, so I'll just well, leave mate, it there. Well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but the old chair, Ray said, Eddie, can we? I said, no, no, go away, mate. Only for the old boys. But probably like me, Mike, I think if we leave you alone for a bit, you'll be a kip in there, wouldn't you? Well, actually, it's quite comfortable. It is, they are, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm quite comfortable. And obviously, if um, you didn't have that netting on there, <laughs> and we're trying to teach you some etiquette, you'd have had a visitor in there, because he loves that, mate. They'll just cuddle up to you, he won't go to sleep, mate. Well, Dick, stop eating that grass. You know, the biggest problem I can see with this though is there's not a lot of room for kit. No. Um, the fly is, is literally just that. It's just yeah. a rainfly. Fly, yeah. Um, just, just, just when you think about it, I mean, these were designed for use in the jungle, weren't they? Oh, yeah. 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 So jungle, man points, man points. Hence the reason, I think, why the, 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 uh, the Velcro bit underneath, because... To be honest with you, as soon as you get in it, bang, it's closed. Yeah. Right? It's closed. I mean, the one thing that I've noticed with uh, my zip one is I tend to leave the zip open. Yeah. Well, okay, I mean, we're okay in this country, but, you know, it allows sort of like mosquitoes in and whatever you where this. See, the, the thing is, when you're in the, in the jungle, mate, and you've got your creepy crawlies and that, yeah, they're all eatable, they're all protein, and you just like grab hold of them and trough them, mate, you know? At man points. Trough. Trough them. Get them, get them down your gullet, mate. Because uh, nice little telemark burger you got there, mate. Very, very cheaply. And I almost, uh, uh, well, it is brand new, isn't it? Yeah, mate, you've had a little mod because you made that 
Yeah, yeah, it's been a work in progress, yeah. really, to be honest. Because good work, mate, good had, work. Yeah. Uh, built well, but it was digging into my back. Yeah. So I've had to do some mods to it to, uh, over the last year or so to get it right. Yeah. Which is what it's all about, mate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's really comfortable. And, uh, Mike, I'll wake you up in about an hour, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, not 100% sure what we're going to do. Anyway, uh, that's kind of uh, done as it's going to be for the moment anyway, because I want to get on with something else. But yeah, so uh, didn't take too much to do.